Hey, Emma, where are you now? Laura just called me from your parents' home. She said you weren't there when she woke up in the morning. What is going on? Did you forget what day it was today? Oh man! Shut up! You are so annoyingly persistent. I'm asking you, isn't it about time that you gave up on me? I hate that about you. Gave up on you? My feelings for you turned cold a long time ago. Ever since you cheated on me. We were planning on having a talk about getting a divorce, right? We were supposed to have a talk at your parents' place with a lawyer. There's no point in having a talk if you're not going to be there. What a pain! You were the one who said today would be a good day, right? You said you wanted to settle this before the New Year's, so you gathered everybody on New Year's Eve. That's because I've decided to go on a trip with Jackson from today. Huh? Go on a trip? I thought about spending New Year's Eve with Jackson. Huh? I said I wanted to go on a trip, and Jackson quickly made plans, asking me where do you want to go. Plus, the hotel he reserved was a really nice hotel. Jackson is such a great guy. What a rich person does is unpredictable. Anyway, just have to talk about a divorce without me. We can talk about the details after I come back from the trip. After you come back, are you going to be okay? You are already nine months pregnant. I can't believe you're going on a trip at a critical time like this. Oh, I will be okay. I still have three weeks until the due date. Plus, the baby's father is with me the whole time, so there is no need to worry. There is no obligation for me to be worried. But aren't you taking childbirth too lightly? We're getting divorced now, so this has nothing to do with you. Even I know that pregnant women feel sick depending on the situation. Oh, I see. You are such a people pleaser. This baby is not even your baby, and you worry about me. Do you still have feelings for me? It doesn't matter who the father is for the baby, right? I am worried about the baby, not you. Okay, okay. You do have feelings left for me. Why does it become like that? Well, either way, we are going to get divorced, so you will be a complete stranger to me. Yeah, whatever. Now, what about a talk? I want to settle this quickly too. Well, I will be back in three days, so next Sunday would work. I will go ask everyone's schedule. So wait a minute. Please do it quickly. It's decided at two o'clock in the afternoon next Sunday. It will be at your parents' place. I will tell your parents. I will not contact you if there is no change. Be sure to be there on the day. Are you okay with it? Yes, yes, that will be fine. We are almost at our destination. See you. Are you really okay? A few days later. Hey, Ethan. About a talk we are going to have next Sunday. I cannot make it. Huh? What is going on? I've asked the lawyer to change his schedule, even though he's busy, and we are causing him so much trouble. It will be too much if you postpone it again. There is nothing I can do. What do you mean? Tell me the reason. Well, I know it's so sudden, but the baby was born during the trip. Huh? What? What do you mean? Do you mean you had a baby on the trip? That's right. As soon as we got to the hotel, the construction started, so we looked for a hospital in a hurry. And the baby was born at the hospital we finally found. <sighs> I asked you if it was going to be okay. When I called your parents' house after I talked to you, Laura told me you went to a hotel by the ocean three hours away from here. I cannot believe you drove three hours while being in the last month of your pregnancy. You went way out of common sense. Oh, you are so annoying! I am getting divorced from you, and I am fed up with your lecturing me so much. The baby is not your baby anyway, so leave me alone. 
Don't get involved with me since we will be complete strangers. Oh, I see how it is. Now, when did you come back? It takes time to get back to normal after having a baby. So you cannot make it this Sunday. Yeah, so just have a talk without me. I will tell my lawyer about it. Hey, there is nothing I can do. I cannot move much after having a baby. I want to focus on raising this baby that was born between me and Jackson. Are you still going to tell me to come out? Man, I got it. Can we really proceed without you? I will hear the result from my parents, so that will be fine. It will be a pain having to see your face. Oh yeah, there is something I need to ask you. What is it? Can you move out of the house? Huh? What did you say? Because the house belongs to my dad. Since we are getting divorced, it is only natural that you move out, right? Once you move out, I will be living there with Jackson and our daughter. So be sure to move out right away. I have already left the house without you telling me. I've moved all my stuff out, and there is nobody living there. Oh, is that right? Then it will be quick. Oh, I haven't been getting enough sleep. I want to go to sleep soon. So see you. One hour later. Laura, happy New Year. Oh, Ethan, did Emma contact you? Yes, she said she had a baby while on her trip. That's right. I am fed up with her. I repeatedly told her it was reckless to go on a trip with her like that. Plus, she was supposed to have a talk about a divorce, but she ignored everything that I said. And this is the consequence. I am so fed up that I am at a loss for words. I know how you feel. By the way, are you going to see Emma anytime soon? Yes, I am about to go to her apartment with my husband right now. That's good. I have a favor to ask you. What is it? I would like you to help me get the DNA testing of the baby and me. Well, does that mean? Emma says the baby is her and Jackson's, but it seems like it's not like she had it checked. There is still a possibility that the baby is mine. Is that true, Ethan? Yeah. So I want to make it clear who the real father is. Can I ask you to help me? Either way, this is not something we can keep avoiding. You want to make it clear to settle all this, huh? If the baby is not really mine, I will make this completely over. But Emma thinks it's too much work, and things won't move forward. So can you please help me out? I got it, Ethan. Thank you, Laura. A few weeks later, Ethan. Hey, Ethan. Hey, what in the world is going on? Don't ignore me. Reply to my messages. What is it? How can my daughter be your child? There is no way. Oh, are you talking about a DNA test? This must be wrong. This is just a fraud. It's the result from a proper agency. That cannot be true. If you cannot believe it, you can just get the test again. Even if I did, I already know the result. Hmm. Because we never did it during that time. Oh, I guess you don't remember about that night, huh? It's about a night you came back all drunk. I was wondering why you were making a move. It was so rare. What? You are kidding me. When I calculate it back from your due date, it exactly matches the date. Because of it, I've asked your parents to help me out, and the result clearly showed that she was my own daughter, just like I calculated. No way! I was so happy that I was able to have a baby with Jackson. It is horrible that you get in our way. How is it that what I did was horrible? Because you had the test done. I got into an argument with Jackson, and we were going to break up. 
It's your fault for doing everything only with your own imagination. I can understand how Jackson would feel. He was fooled about a baby you made with another man, saying it was your child. You have been pressuring us to get a divorce and get remarried. You've also betrayed Jackson. Uh, no. With that being said, now that we know the truth, I will try to get sole custody of my daughter. What in the world? Are you going to take my daughter away from me? She's my daughter, and I cannot trust you as a parent. You are so cold-blooded. She may be your daughter, but she's my daughter too. Well, think about it. You were relying on Jackson, who is financially rich. But now you guys are breaking up due to your fault. On top of that, your parents are on my side. They said they don't want to have anything to do with you once the divorce with me gets finalized. What? No way! Plus, there is a nursery at our company, and there is a helpful environment to raise a child. And now we are mostly working remotely, so I can take time to raise a child. While I am at it, my father is still active and working hard, so we don't have any financial worries. Plus, my mom and my sister are licensed as nursery school teachers. Even though we were married, you cheated on me with another guy. It would be better for me to raise our daughter rather than you, who would cheat. Since I have a better financial situation and helpful environment, don't you think our daughter will be happier if I raised her rather than you, who cannot even get financial support from your parents? Well, Ethan, what? Do you still have something to say? Then wouldn't it be better if we got back together? What in the world? I think the environment you have for raising a child is great. It would be perfect if there were me as her mother. So I want to start over as a married couple. No way! I've had enough. What? It's like a joke to have somebody so sloppy like you raise her. It will be better for such a mother to not even exist. That's terrible. I will talk with a lawyer about the rest. Wait, wait a minute. So see you. After that, I was granted sole custody of my daughter. Also, I made Emma promise that she would never see our daughter again. I heard Emma went back to the house we used to live in once she became all alone. But the house was her dad's property. It seems like her dad sold the house as soon as I moved out because her dad was so fed up with what Emma had done. And about the money that he received from selling the house, he gave it all to me to use for my daughter. Emma lost everything from the house to go back to her own child and her boyfriend. She was crying for a while in front of the house we used to live in. But the neighbors were staring at her, so she left as if she were running away. Nobody knows where Emma went after that.